He was a man of melancholy, uh, who, especially in his, uh, in his younger years, had suffered from depression and went through times of depression as president of the United States, too. Combating such a condition is difficult, but recent evidence suggests Lincoln is compounding the problem in the early stages of his presidency. Lincoln is taking something called Blue Mass, a strong medication designed to ease his melancholy. Dr. Norbert Hirshhorn believes this irritability could be indicative of something more serious. It came more and more clear to me that as a physician, that if a man like this comes to me saying, uh, I take blue mass, and all his friends and relatives come and say, when he's behaving really erratically, he loses his temper, he's very sensitive, he's got a tremor when he's under stress. I would say, you know, I think this could be mercury poisoning. Blue mass pills are known to contain mercury. Dr. Hirshhorn had the pills recreated and tested to see the level of mercury that would be absorbed on consumption. 6.6 grams. Today, mercury is known to be a highly toxic substance and is handled with great care, but in the 19th century, it is regularly used in medication. Dr. Hirshhorn's results are unequivocal. We find that under any reasonable doses that he could have been taking, he's absorbing a lot of mercury. The amounts are a thousand times more than what is now allowed to be absorbed by, uh, by our health authorities. When he is elected president, Lincoln is slowly poisoning himself. However, after five months in office, he appears to recognize the side effects and stops. His partner, John Stewart, his ex-law partner, John Stewart, says later on that Lincoln told him that he stopped the pills because they made him cross. It shows his great determination. The striking thing about Lincoln as president is not that uh, he was psychologically wounded or, or debilitated by his tendency toward depression. The, the remarkable thing is the psychological strength that he manifested during that period. 